everyone and welcome to part one of commands 101 where we teach you how to get good at commands here's one example anyways if you haven't watched part zero you don't have to it's basically nothing it's just an introduction so do whatever you want honestly Anyways, today we are going to be going over detecting players in areas. The first one, and the most simple, uh, over here is like a distance command. So as you can see, if I walk close, first we get blindness, then sounds start to play, and then we die. This is the most simple command out of the three things we'll be going over today. So we'll be very careful and turn off the command. So, it's actually quite simple. Slash execute as at a distance equals five and then the command. So we want to execute as the person who is every person but in a distance of below five. It's quite simple. So let me explain how to construct one of these commands. Okay, here we have some pigs which are brain dead. I made them brain dead. So if you want to kill all of these pigs, we do slash kill at E, which means all entities. I'm assuming you know what all of these mean, like all players, all entities, nearest player, random player, current entity. I'm pretty sure almost everyone knows the basics of these. After that, we're going to kill at E, which means en all entities, but then we're going to add filters. These are sort of filters. So we need to be distance equals below which is represented by the two dots below five, actually below one, because five would kill all of them. So over here, two dots represent below. This means equal, so right on the line. And this means above. So if we do above five, I just killed every single pig apart from these pigs. <laughs> oh no, I didn't really think about that, but wait. I'm an idiot, I just killed every entity, including item frames. Okay, well, whatever. We'll just, oh God, I'm such an idiot. Anyway, so below five, it includes me and it kills all of the pigs. So that's the first one, it's the radius. And also if you just wanted to kill pigs, you can add another filter, type equals pig. Simple, that's how the first one works. Now for the second one, we have like this levitation pad thingy. If I walk on the sides, nothing seems to happen. But as soon as I walk over the blue terracotta, I fly up. Okay, so we're executing at myself. If the block, which is two block under me, is blue terracotta, then it just gives us the effect. Quite simple. But if you wanted it to work for all players, we have to do slash execute at at a so now it's like it's running the command at every player if you only use at you can you can't do at s if you do as you can use at s but you won't have the position of the player it will just run where the command is so anyways let's construct a command slash execute as every player and then at s so we're doing we're making we're making this command run at every player at themselves because we already chose who is going to run this. And then we're going to check if they are standing and these are relative coordinates. So there's minus two. Two blocks under them is blue terracotta. And then we can run whatever command we want. And that's it. And now for the most complicated, stupid little crap here. Um, let me just turn on these commands. There we go. That happens. So we're just making it give me a slowness effect. And it also changes the color of the blocks. So this just works the exact same way as that, but with different filters, obviously. So instead of the distance filter, um we're using these filters so this one is a bit complicated so 
Let me explain how it works. So we get any block, any corner of a block. Um, okay, a dolphin just died. So we choose a block, then we choose how much up or how much down we're gonna go. So we go down one block and then uh, we go this way by two. And then we just go like five blocks this way. So now we created the cube from here to here. So you choose an origin point, which is this block, and then you extend out to where you want the box to be. So we start by choosing, okay, I think I should <laughs> turn these off. So we start by typing in slash execute as <clears throat> at A. And over here, we want to bring up F3, where it says targeted block, choose any block, and then execute as at A. And we're going to choose the X coordinate of the block, the Y coordinate of the block, and then the Z coordinate of the block, like that. So now we're just going to do the thing where we extend down and left and right. So we, we're at this block, we want to go one, two, three blocks to negative x because um, if you wanted to go this way if you look at f3 uh, when we move this way it goes negative you see um, so we want to go negative x one two three so we grab our command we go distance x equals negative three so we're moving negative three on the x direction one two three then we want to go negative one two three four so four down so so yeah distance y equals minus four because we want to go four blocks down and then we want to go plus in the z direction by one two three so if I move this way, the Z is getting higher. If I move backwards, it's getting lower. So we just go here and we do distance Z three. There we go, that's it. And then we do run uh, effect give at S absorption, whatever. Ta -da. For more great tutorials, subscribe or watch Legitimus, which is a really good command channel. And he does more advanced videos. So that's all I have to say. And bye. Have a good time messing around with your commands. Let's go! Thank you.